Good morning friends, happy Saturday, welcome back. I'm heading out to a workout class this morning, I thought that'd be a good way to start the weekend off. So let's get going. workout and do you guys notice anything you know different about this area you know but do you notice anything we got an espresso machine how exciting one of enoch's clients is moving back home and she was getting rid of loads of stuff and she was trying to give it out to all her friends here and if they didn't take it she was going to donate it or just get rid of it anyway and i was literally going to buy a coffee machine during amazon prime week um a few months ago but i talked myself out of it and then this came along and she was kind enough to give it to us for free so yeah i, I couldn't resist i've always wanted one and i think this is just a good kind of startup coffee machine to have it's the nespresso virtuo pop i believe it's called very simple to use i've only used it once yesterday for the first time and yeah i like it so far so i bought this little pack from amazon oh, don't know if you can see and it was just a mixture of different pods that you can buy it's not from an official nespresso shop is definitely just someone that buys loads of nespresso pods and then creates like a variety pack but i just thought it's a good way for me to at least try the different flavors that they have and see which one i like because i think on espresso if you buy a sleeve of coffee you get 10 in a pack and i don't want to commit to something if i haven't tried it before and i don't know if i actually like it and i thought this was a good option i got 30 in here so i think today i'm gonna try this one voltesso i don't know what any of these are the ones i pick i just go to the nespresso website and search it up so i can know what it is like the intensity the like taste things like that where it's from so yeah i think i'm gonna go with this one yeah, this is what i do i search it up on the nespresso website so i know what i'm getting so this is it the voltesso is what i picked out intensity for light and sweet virtual espresso coffee sweet biscuity notes from brazilian bourbon coffee so i think this looks all right i'm not a coffee connoisseur guys i literally just i don't know as long as it tastes good i don't really care and yeah i tried my first one yesterday like i said and i feel like it's a little bit more intense than my instant coffee that i usually get um i don't know why but it, it definitely hit me a lot stronger than the instant coffee that i just add water in usually but yeah i'm gonna make this now so i've filled up the water in the back i'm gonna take this off so that my mug would fit otherwise it's just it's gonna be too high okay guys it is a lot later in the day now whoops it's just gone past eight it's still quite bright outside to be honest but let me just sit you guys down so yeah i'm kind of half ready at the moment because i'm going out to a friend's birthday drinks i just made some dinner so i need to eat quickly wait for enoch to come so we can leave together but whilst i do that i thought i would give you guys a little bit of a book update so the last book i was reading was i can't remember the name of it things we something something the blue book i'll put it on the screen i think at the time i rated it a three out of five but to be honest now that i've finished it i would give it a 2.5 out of five i like the storyline the characters were cute you know i love a good romance where there's like a preppy fun bubbly girl and then she comes to a small town and she meets like the mysterious dark, tall dark and handsome kind of thing i love that love the characters but i just think there was something missing and because of that it took me a really long time to finish the book so i would pick it up and then i wouldn't read it for one week two weeks three weeks and then i'll pick it up again so it was just very slow for me and because of that i just i don't think it was really for me the book but i it, it was okay it was a good read i'm glad i finished it but overall 2.5 out of 5. The next book I'm now reading, which I'm almost done, I want to finish this by tomorrow. I literally have just this left. It's called The Great Alone by um, 
Kristen Hanna. So I saw Brooke Michio recommend this on her Instagram. I think she did like her top five books of the year that she rated five out of five. So I thought I'd pick this one up. And a lot of the time with books that I'm finding that I'm seeing recommended on TikTok or by other people, I'm not even reading the back of it. I'm just taking a leap of faith and hoping I'd like that. They have a trigger warning with this um, with domestic violence, but love the book. And then after this one, I'm hoping to read Noz 4R2 by Joe Hill. This is a horror book. I don't think I've ever read a horror book before and I love horror movies. So I thought, you know, why am I not reading horror books? And this one had decent reviews. She's a thick one. So <laughs> I don't know how many pages this is. I don't know what I'm going to expect because of movies, obviously you see it visually, you have the music, the, the jump scares. So I think with horror books, you really just have to put your imagination you know at test and hopefully there's enough description and detail in the book that it feels like you're watching a scary movie so yeah we'll see how i go with these two i'm gonna finish getting ready eat something and i'm gonna get going out okay so we are getting ready to go now i don't know if you can see me properly it is actually quite dark but i'm just wearing this brown t-shirt it's mesh ties in the middle i think i've worn this before black jeans and then some heels <laughs> primark bag and you look in the back let's go because we're running late everyone happy sunday yesterday was so much fun it's always nice just to see old friends and catch up it was a really good night but i am so so hungover oh my god i forgot what a lightweight i am honestly i don't know what i was thinking but getting up this morning it was a struggle a real real struggle even now sometimes if i move too fast the room starts spinning which isn't good because i'm basically getting ready to go trampolining so i'm meeting my sisters and my niece we thought it'd be a really fun activity for her she's been before and she loved it and at the time when i booked this of course i didn't realize i would feel this ill so <laughs> pray for me i'm at least looking forward to seeing my sisters again and hopefully just come home and have a relaxing sunday we need to clean before i leave the house just because everything's a little bit dusty and yeah just could do with a good wipe so that we can start the week off fresh Oh, so cute. Hey guys, we are on the way home now. Such a good day. I'm so glad I went and surprisingly I was still able to go on the trampoline. My stomach was still a bit woozy, but it did get a bit better later on in the day, which was great. So I really enjoyed just spending time with my sister and my niece. Really good day. So we are on our way back home now. I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and I will see you in my next